My name is Axel Kalicho, and I'll be uh, presenting the plot of In the Heat of the Night by Norman Jewison. So In the Heat of the Night is situated in a very difficult time of the United States. Um, the southern states still weren't fully integrating black people, and um, it was a problem. For example, in this story, um, the story occurs in Sparta, Mississippi, where black people were not integrated and they were um, despised actually they were very dis disrespected so the story starts with officer woods who finds a body who is mr colbert mr colbert was a very wealthy and very successful businessman um, who had a factory and um, he this factory was the vessel and it was very important for the town so the officers of sparta mississippi had to uncover who the murderer was so Officer Woods finds this black man to bring into the station. It doesn't identify him, doesn't uh, pat him down or anything. He just goes directly to the conclusion that this black man is a murderer. Uh, this black man does not is not a murderer. He not only turns out to be innocent, he also turns out to be a police officer from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So this police officer from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Officer Tibbs, um, he ends up staying in Sparta, Mississippi and working the case um, despite all the backlash he got from the officers down in Sparta, Mississippi. Um, both Chief Gillespie, who was the chief of the police station, and Officer Woods, along with other officers and really the whole town, uh, wanted him gone slash dead. Um... So constantly throughout the film, you can see how um, Officer, uh, how Chief Gillespie would bring in um, suspects that he thought were the murderers, and how Officer Tibbs would promptly um, prove these suspects innocent. Just showing you know how dysfunctional this uh, all white and racist police station in Sparta, Mississippi was. Um, funny enough, uh, this film is very ironic. It seems it's very ironic. Um, funny enough. Officer Sam Woods uh, is both convicted, uh, both suspected to be a murderer and a rapist by his own uh, Chief Gillespie. It's also very ironic the fact that um, this black police officer um, is by far, by a mile, the best police officer um, on this case. By far. Um... So on a hunch, um, Officer Tibbs uh, follows this impregnated 16-year-old because he believes this 16-year-old uh, ties into the case somehow. So he follows this hunch and he actually is right about this hunch because the lover of this girl who impregnated her, impregnated her also turns out to be the murderer of Mr. Colbert. So he proves... Um, Officer Woods, first of all, to not be a murderer and not be the rapist, but also finds out that the murderer is the father of the soon-to-be child and the lover of the 16-year-old. And also, he is um, the waiter slash owner of this little diner that Officer Woods loves to go to. So, boom, case solved. And um, the people in Sparta, Mississippi really learned the lesson.